to the founder of 600million.org. So I'm gonna pass. We're all here for a great cause. I just wanna really great thank show, everybody man. for coming out tonight. There are a lot of wonderful humanitarian people here. This is such an important project, a cookie that can sterilize dogs. Can you tell us about that? I've been trying to find a way to sterilize myself for years, and this cookie is it. That's so not fair. Well, you took my punchline. That's it. That's what I'm going to say. I just want to run a big friend out for anyone who doesn't know. I've been in animal work for 30 years, and this is the most right, exciting go. project I've ever been involved with because it's going to end more animal suffering than any project uh, that I've ever even heard about. Good evening. Here we are at the Dunking for Dogs charity event. I have with me country rock performer Cherish Lee. Hi. Good evening. How are you? I'm very good, thank you. Would you like to tell me a little bit about um, why you're here? Absolutely. I um, have a huge heart for animals. It's, I want a dog farm once my album goes. <laughs> I want to get a big uh, chunk of property so I can um, have a rescue of my own. But in the meantime, I support other rescues, and I just think it's important to make people aware that it's a big problem. There's so many, you know, homeless animals out there. So yeah, there's so many homeless animals, and obviously with this um, new initiative for sterilization as well. Yes. Um, I think it's very important. What are your feelings on that? I absolutely. I mean, I I think it's it should take place. You know, it's just responsible. Um, it's responsible ownership. Otherwise, you know, one of them has <laughs> six or seven. So, and there's not normally homes for that many yeah, or care. It's given. a big problem around the world, not only in the U.S. In Mexico, also, there's oh. lots of stray dogs without oh food and everything. So, so from an ethical point of view, do you, you obviously think it's a good thing, and do you think um, that it should be a worldwide thing, also? You know, I do. I. Um, I, like I said, it's responsible ownership. I don't think that um, it, it's just one of those things. You know, it, I would hope that people would, instead of uh, purchasing a, a dog, that they would be able to rescue. And I just think that you know our shelters are so full. I saw a picture the other day of a huge room stacked full of dead bodies of dogs, and it was because they, you know, there's no room, so they're all being euthanized, and it's sad to see, and their last days are, you know. Yeah, regardless, a dog or a human being, it's the same, a life is a life. Yes. Now, would you like to introduce me to these two little darlings? Yes. Sorry, I've got Holiday here, and uh, him and I have matching sweatshirts. So, we've got Mickey and Mickey, and then I've got Charlie. Charlie, say, come here, buddy. Thank you. Hi, Charlie. I love you. And Charlie has one eye. Um, Holiday was going to be put to sleep, and I have another dog at home that was um, abused. Yeah, and he's in a wheelchair. In agreement, obviously. In agreement, obviously. Yes. So, these are my babies. We love to do rescue and find dogs' homes. Fantastic. Well, I thank you very much. I hope you have a nice evening. And would you be intending to dunk anybody this evening? Why not? <laughs> Have anybody in mind that you might like to Actually, dunk? Maybe myself, because it's pretty hot. It's pretty damn hot. I think I might be with you on that one. <laughs> we'll take turns. Okay, cool. Have a nice evening. You too. Bye. Uh, no. Oh wait, no. This is a charity event. This is about birth control for stray dogs, because there are so many strays uh, and shelters are so full, um, and it's just uh, horrible how many animals have to die every year. And this is a really uh, simple and safe solution that will uh, really help alleviate a lot of those problems. So we're trying to bring some awareness, raise some money, and uh, do some good things here. Spay and neuter your pets. Or help 600million.org to do it for you. Can I talk to you post-dunk, please? What's that? Can I talk Let to you post-dunk? Yeah, so yeah, 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 after, yeah, yeah. I think he's very Chippendale-like, and he's very, very cute. I can't take my eyes off him, and obviously I can't wait till he's been dunked. How did it feel? Felt awesome. That water was nice and cool. Cooled me off. It's hot out here. It's a very, very warm night. <laughs> you know, as long as it's for a good cause, I got no problem. You can dunk me all night. And uh, what brings you out here tonight? To support the charity. And uh, what do you think of the uh, latest thing that uh, all the dogs here should be sterilized in order to preserve their life and make them have a better life? If it saves dogs' lives, then I mean, <laughs> it's, a, it's a good thing. Fantastic. And are you enjoying yourself so far? 
Oh yeah, it's a blast. This is hilarious. I mean, I mean that one guy up there, he was such a character. I can't wait to see him go up again. I mean, I, I was almost getting in line to throw the ball myself. He's just so funny. Well, maybe later you might do that. Are you, are you have a prospect that maybe you guys might be dunked later also? I don't know. Well, we were, that's we risky. <laughs> that's risky, but I mean, uh, you do what you gotta do. Who knows, the night is very young. Okay, so here we are, the Dunking for Dogs charity event, and I have with me... Angelique Bates. Okay, if you'd like to tell me a little bit about yourself, please. Okay, well, I'm from Nickelodeon's All That. Uh, I have a movie out called 35 and Ticking with Mike Apps, Kevin Hart, Megan Good. And I have a single out called Can't Fade Me Now. Well, I'm here with a multitask and a very, very brilliant lady. So um, what are your feelings about tonight's charity event? I definitely support it because actually I have three dogs and a cat at home. So, and I actually went to the shelter and I got all my pets. So I think more people need to think about what's going on instead of paying thousands of dollars for these dogs that are being mistreated in these stores because they really are being abused. And you have several dogs and cats and whatever kind of pet that you're into that are being laid down and just being mistreated. So I really am really happy that, you know, the celebrities and Hollywood is actually taking time to like flash the cameras on the situation. And I have with me Zach Callison. Okay, would you like to tell me a little bit about yourself? Yeah, sure. Um, I live here in LA. I'm an actor, musician. Um, I like to play the piano and sing. Um, I'm on a Disney animated series called Sophia the First. Um, it's probably going to come out um, next year or so. It's for younger kids. It's musical. It's really cool. Um, and I also did a um, science fiction comedy movie called Rock Jocks. It's probably going to come out next year as well. You're, you're a little talented guy, aren't you? Okay, fantastic. And what kind of, when you say a musician, what kind of music? Um, I like to play classic rock, alternative rock, um, and modern modern rock, but I'm rock all, all the way. Fantastic. Well, you've given me everything there, and uh, how are you feeling about tonight's event? Are you enjoying it so far? Um, yeah, I've had a great time, seen some friends, and it's also a very good cause, um, very noble cause, so yeah. Fantastic. Do you have dogs yourself? I do. I just adopted um, my very first dog um, about five months ago. He's a little chewy puppy, apple of my eye. I love him. If you'd like to say something to um, everybody else who might be watching this tonight, what would you like to say to them? Um, I'd like to say that um, this is a really great charity, um, and it's definitely a very good cause and event. Okay, thank you very much. Have a nice evening. Here I am with Tariq Ellinger. Um, would you like to tell me a little bit about yourself? I'm an actor. I like um, acting. That's like my favorite thing ever. I have done like I done the Division. It's a TV show and. Uh, I'm the main star of it. I done lots of commercials like Kmart, um, Bissell and Doritos, and I done a lot of short films. Would you like to tell me how old you are? I'm seven. You're doing very well. And when did you start all this acting? Um, I think I was six. <laughs> <laughs> are you enjoying the event this evening? Yeah, it's really fun. Okay, do you have dogs yourself? I have one dog. We just got him like three days ago, and he's like, uh, he's a uh, Teacup Maltese, and he's like a size of a football. He's really, really cute. Okay, well, what, what color is he? He's white. He's white? Okay. Yeah. Fantastic. And uh, what, do you, what do you think about the event tonight? It's really, really cool meeting all these um, really uh, like famous people. Yeah, there's, lot, there's lots of famous people here tonight. Who yeah. would you like to see? I like seeing this. Um, I met this girl, but I forgot her name. And like, <laughs> yeah, um, well, I know she's famous because I've seen her on TV before. And like oh, in these movies. Oh, fantastic. Well, maybe you and I will do a little scouting and find out who this girl is. Would you like to do that with me later on? Yeah. Okay, cool. Have a lovely evening. Thank you for your interest. So here we are at the Dunking for Dogs charity event. I have with me... Yasmin Abriel. Okay, would you like to tell me a little bit about yourself? Um, yes, my name's Yasmin Abriel. No, I'm just joking. Um, I am an actress. I've been acting for years on top of years. And um, I'm mostly known from Benjamin Button, uh, opposite Brad Pitt and I was also in The Shield, and I have some up-and-coming projects coming out next spring, 2012. So look out for me, for those who haven't seen any of my work yet. Um, what I'd like to ask you is, do you have dogs yourself? I don't, but I used to have a dog. I used to, and I was uh, lucky enough to find a friend to take care of my friend. I, in fact, you interviewed my friend earlier, Angelique Bates. She's I, here. I certainly did. Yes, um, long story short, I went to the rescue when I got him, and I ended up having my son, 
and I couldn't care for a dog and my son. It was kind of overwhelming. So she took him off my hands for me, and I visit him regularly, and I love him so much, and I feel guilty getting any other dog now because... Well, that's very heartwarming to know that you have a son and that you've taken this dog and given it to your friend, but you haven't just abandoned him and given him away. So that's a very nice... <laughs> very nice. Well, I think that's a nice message to everybody out there. Please don't go to the rescue and get a dog and uh, when it's not what it's cracked up to be abandon it again I mean they're traumatized animals at that when you're getting them so they need lots of love I consider them to be um, kind of like foster children you know they, they need a little bit more nurturing and care and I didn't want to just abandon him like that you're absolutely right they have feelings and wants and they they, they speak to you just like human beings but in their own way well I thank you very much Yasmin and thank you thank you and I have with me Victoria Strauss would you like to tell me a little bit about yourself young lady Yes, I'm an actress and I'm also an animal advocate. Um, I love helping animals. I've held them for a very long time. And I, actually today I just came from an IHOP commercial that I was shooting. So you came straight here from, from commercials and glitz and glamour to something down to earth and special? Yes, I did. I helped the ASPC a lot. Um, I also help other animal rescuers. Would you like to tell me a little bit more exactly what you do with them? You raise money or? I raise money and I give it to the ASPCA and they use it to help the animals. Okay, could you tell me how much you've raised so far? $3,000. Oh, wow. And how old are you, young lady? I'm 11 years old. And look at that. She's done a, a wonderful thing. I'm Alexander Labar. I'm 16 year old, years old and I'm actually an actor myself. And uh, I'm working on this film called The Beast at the moment with P Peter Dukes and it's just unbelievable it's an awesome experience I play this innocent child that's just so naive to the world and that's like half of my character but then on a full moon he turns into a werewolf who I mean kills everybody so uh, it's such a drastic change and what we've been working on lately in rehearsals was becoming this animal like becoming you know I mean I have the scene where I turn into the werewolf and I mean it's literally from head to toe I am slowly becoming an animal. I mean, my spine is curving, everything. So it's been crazy trying to, you know, I've been watching like videos, like National Geographic of animals, cheetahs and okay, stuff so like that. Yeah, I started acting when I was eight. And then that's when I started voice lessons to get rid of my accent. And- uh, Which accent did you have before? I had an Irish accent and uh, I got rid of that and put on this nice Californian subtle accent. And how long did it take for you to eliminate your original accent? Well, I did two years of it, so roughly two years. I mean, it was pretty good after a year, but last year really put it in. Okay, fantastic. And what, how do you see yourself for the future? Well, um, I'm optimistic, so uh, I hope it's, I see a bright future. <laughs> okay, are you um, in the film industry? Are you just interested in acting, directing, or are you thinking of going a little bit further? Well, I actually have written my first feature film, and we start shooting. We're going to shoot sometime this summer, and it is, it's called Illicit Lewis, and it's kind of like my experience I put into a film. And, you know, I, I think it could be something cool. It's really, it, it was an interesting writing experience, and I wrote it all on vacation. Just kind of, it, it's cool. So. Fantastic. It's very inspiring for the young actors out there today, I think. I'm Haley Ogas, and um, I'm an actress, and I just had an episode come out this past week on CMT of a new show called Angels Among Us. Okay, and what part do you play in Angels Among Us? I play Ariel which is um, the youngest daughter in the family. Um, it's about a mom and dad and two daughters, and I play the youngest. Fantastic. And how old are you now? I'm 18. Okay, and when did you start an, as an actress? I started when I was 11 in North Carolina, and then I moved here to L.A. a year ago. Okay, and why did you decide to pursue acting as a career? Um, I just love it. I have so much fun getting to play different roles and um, do different characters. Okay, and what's next for you in the pipeline? What are you working on next? I have a movie in post-production called The Republic of Two, where I play Amy. Um, I have a broken arm, and I'm in the hospital in the movie. Okay, fantastic. And this is directed by whom? Sean Costa. And it's, it's also written by him and created. He, like, did the whole thing. It's, he's amazing. Okay, and how do you see yourself in the future? Would you like to continue with the acting, or would you like to branch out into different things? I'd like to continue with acting. Yeah, I'd, I'd love to work on more projects. Fantastic. So acting is your main goal. And uh, I'd like to ask the both of you actually, who inspires you in the acting world? Who are your, who are your heroes? Um, I've always looked up to Hilary Duff ever since I was young, so I'd love to work with her. Okay, and who are, who are the guys that you like in terms of acting? Um, I don't know if it's really acting, but I love Nick Jonas. <laughs> He's awesome. 
And yourself, who inspires you? Um, I must say, Leonardo DiCaprio. He gets me every time. Oh, I'm with you there, all the way. Yeah. Heart and soul. <laughs> yes, he is. He's the reason I started, to be honest. He's just fantastic. Fantastic. Yeah. Um, well, it was interesting, actually, with Angels Among Us. It's based on a true story. So, um, so that was interesting to get to play a real person, and it was a real situation within the family. I just like putting myself into the characters, you know, thinking of how I would be if I was in that spot. And it's, it's my favorite to play roles that are completely different from myself. You can do it! First of all, I love dogs, and the fact that this is, you know, an event for the charity for dogs is just awesome, and, you know, a lot of my friends are here tonight, and I'm going to watch some people get dunked that I know, and it's all for, like, a really great cause, so I'm just happy to be here. Fantastic. And yourself? I'm a dog lover, soft spot always. Uh, I go to tons and tons of pet events and adoption events, so this is just another one of my favorite events to go to.